Yo, what's going on, guys? We're right here in our hotel, well, Motel 6 room. We're at the NBA Draft Combine. I'm joined here with one of my best friends, law student, Luke Permuza. How's it going? And guess what just got reported, and I had to bring it, bring him in here for this. The Milwaukee, Milwaukee Bucks will interview Will Weaver for the head coaching vacancy, Luke. And source, that's from Jake Fisher at Yahoo Sports. And listen to this. Really? Will, yeah, and do you know who Will Weaver was? Previous head coach of the Long Island Nets, G League affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, but he's currently the head coach of Paris basketball in the top division of France. John Horst is in reportedly no rush to hire a new head coach and has an extensive extensive list of candidates. I've said it from the beginning. If they were going to go in-house, it's Charles Lee. I'm surprised Nick Nurse is not on that list, but it's Charles Lee, your boy, Kelvin Sampson. Tell me why Kelvin Sampson's on that list. So they also had like Doc Rivers, apparently. It was also part of that list, if I'm not mistaken. Ty Lue until the Clippers say that Ty Lue's not going anywhere. Yeah, so... The one that I was really surprised with was Kelvin Sampson. Like, it'd be one thing if he was like a young college coach, like Billy Donovan left but, for the NBA and is like But he's like, like 60-something. He's so, 65. But so why 66. is he good? Why would he be okay? I, I'm, not a fan, I'm not a fan of college coaches. So why would a college coach of his age be a target for a championship team? I don't know because I don't. it doesn't make sense to me. If you guys don't know, Luke is a college so, basketball betting Kelvin degenerate. Kelvin Sampson... Kelvin Sampson, obviously, he is one of the best college coaches ever. One of the best to never win a championship. He rebuilt this Houston program, brought them back from the dead, and they've been one of the best teams in the country. And now he gets to join the Big 12. But the whole hiring of Kelvin Sampson... is just weird. So it's I, weird. I, I feel you, like... My thing is, we talked about this in the car. I think that this is leverage to get another lot... Uh, get, to get a fat pay raise since Houston is joining the Big 12 this year. That makes sense. So now moving on to the other one, Joseph Blair, he's the assistant coach for the Wizards, won a championship, or was the head coach of Rio Grande Valley Vipers. Former They're, Nets coach Kenny Atkinson is on there as well. Chris Quinn, I'm a big fan of, former NBA player, Miami Heat assistant, Kevin Young. Obviously, Kevin Warner Young fan. has been linked with them as well. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see who ends up becoming the Bucks head coach because I was a guy, I was always with this theory. If you're firing a championship head coach, you, you either hire a championship head coach. Yeah, you either hire a championship head coach, and if it's not a championship head coach, it's someone who's either within the organization or has good ties to the organization, like used to be an assistant, you know? Yeah, I mean? yeah. Because like, why would you fire coach? I'm not like I'm not gonna say Coach Bud, Bud is like Bud the Bud best coach ever, but why would you fire Coach Bud to then hire, I don't know, but not no disrespect to Kevin Young, a Phoenix Suns assistant. Yeah. Like, I'm not, like... Look at what the Raptors did. They fired, you know, Coach of the Year, and then they went in-house. Yeah, exactly. And it worked out for them. But it's like, Kevin Young, I'm not disrespecting him. I think he actually might be a pretty good coach in this league someday. But for the for a team that has a roster constructed to win Tyler, now... when he got hired, is because they fired mid-season. Yes. And they brought him in. They brought him in. They fired him. They fired David Blatt, like, 20 games in or less than that. They brought Ty Lue in. And obviously, when Ty, Ty Lue got fired from the Cavs because they started rebuilding and they were bad... Why did the Clippers hire him? Because they fired Doc and they needed to bring in a championship head coach. Boom. If you fire a championship head coach, you make sure to replace one. Or you promote your top assistant, which is what the Raptors did. Yeah. Or and the Cavaliers yeah. with Tyler. And, uh, and the Cavs with Tyler. Yeah. But it just doesn't make any sense for them to fire Bud and then go like, let's hire Kevin Young. Or the, the weirdest one is Kelvin Sampson. I, I don't believe that for a second. I think that's just fake to get Kelvin Sampson a pay raise at Houston. But if it is real, it, why would they hire him after firing Bud? It just doesn't make sense to me. So that being said, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Who do you guys think should be the head coach? But that'll be it for us. But peace out.